Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Real Hazardous. It's Labor Day. Kind of late in the season. Um, you know, we're kind of getting that transition season between summer and fall. So, uh, sounds like there's still some some of the summertime fish offshore. I heard guys catching kingfish and sails and cobia and um, still warm, so they're still around. But at the same time, we're starting to see other fish start coming in. I've, here, they're starting to catch big bull reds. We'll be uh, targeting those soon. Excited about that. And um, just kind of a different time of year. Kind of nice. It's not as crowded, you know, at the boat ramp, which is always a plus. Not like the the crazy summertime Memorial Day kind of kind of weekend, but red snapper days. That's nothing like that. So pretty excited. Have a nice, chill, relaxing day. Less crowded. Um, hopefully, just have overall a good day catching fish. A little cooler. Not gonna get so hot. Maybe. So stay tuned guys, we're gonna, we're gonna go after them now. All right guys, let's go, let's get to work. Let's catch some fish, let's go. Chop, chop. Okay, I'm using a small number two J-hook. It's a triple barb J-hook, which I really like. It really sticks in them. And then, I'm using a small number six treble hook. They're very small hooks. I mean, same size you'll see on lures for like bass and inshore fish. So, you can't put a lot of heat on them. You gotta let the fish run. It's a finesse game, not a, not a power game. Not, catching big tuna or grouper or wahoo. This is a live bait thing. Say so why so small hooks? Well, because because a live bait swims better and you get more bites with the small hooks. Bait was kind of tough to get today. It was very deceiving. I mean, I saw huge pods of bait flipping with that throw on it and sometimes I want to catch any. Um, I guess they're just kind of scattered. I think sometimes they get real spooky. And there were a lot of boats in the area at that point. I think you're just moving so fast. Be patient. A lot of times some, some things we'll try is um, kind of ease in, don't run hard and do like a hard reverse. I think that spooks them out. Sometimes even if you can kind of see them and kind of get pointing the right direction as you get close, you're shutting the motors off, kind of glide in and then throw. That's another thing you can do. When they're scattered, it does help to have a big net. Um, if you have a small net, like six foot, it's pretty small. I'm throwing a 10, um, even a 12 if you can throw it. It'll definitely help at times when the uh, bait's scattered. It's kind of funny, we're out here now though, and I, I hear people like, oh yeah, it was one and done. So I don't know if it's not as crowded or sometimes as the afternoon progresses or the morning progresses, you know, it gets brighter. The bait consolidates a little more. But in any case, you know, it's not always easy. We've spent more time catching bait than we have catching fish before. You know, spend a couple hours trying to find bait, and then you got there in like an hour, you got your element. So, you know, it is what it is. Don't let it frustrate you. You know, just just keep at it to get what you need. Oh, here you go, Kayla. No, it's on. Might be a short. Okay, you go, you want to my... go ahead, I got it. You can use this on your other glass. It might feel better. Yeah. That other one. Where's you at? Find the boat. <laughs> I'm not pulling too hard at the moment. Uh, what is it? A little, a little Spanish? A little king. I think it's not a little Spanish. It's a big Spanish. That's a big Spanish. I was saying that ain't no little Spanish. That's like kingfish size. Yeah, that's a big Spanish. Yeah. The biggest one I've ever seen up here. I'm yeah. like, this is way too easy. I'd like to catch about 45 of those that size. Yeah. That Spanish is about, what, four pounds? Those are a lot better eating than king mackerel, Kelly. So that was a nice Spanish we caught. It's pretty cool. Um, haven't caught a Spanish that big in a long time, but I had heard they're out here. You know, they'll, they'll be in the same area. And, uh, you know, not as big. They don't get as big as king mackerel. That one was pretty big. It was probably about that long, and they only have to be about 12 inches to keep, so he was a nice Spanish. And I actually think Spanish tastes better than king mackerel, so that's cool. 
All right, guys, here we go. Hooked up. Hopefully, I mean, it was on the downrigger. It can be a shark sometimes, but he, he made a decent run. Is that a snapper? I got another line, Dad. Alright guys, it's those dang endangered red snapper. They're actually so plentiful. Gotcha. Alright guys, snapper safely released. Fish on in the, the prop wash. No, no, I just started bending over. Uh -uh. Here. I don't want this shark. Might not be a shark. Maybe it's a sailfish. Watch one to jump. Might be. I mean, it, sharks usually don't hit that high. Right, right at the prop. Uh, maybe it's Joby. Maybe a little Spanish again. It's coming up. It's kind of shiny. Very yeah. shiny. Is it Spanish? Spanish. There we go. Yeah, you tell me you want me to yeah. It's a nice Spanish. Not as big as yours, but Alright guys, another good Spanish. Brought my glove. Both Spanish been in the prime. Probably that bite earlier, that was a prop, right? Yeah. Probably another Spanish. Same well, that's area. That's a double J hook here. Well, that's cool, guys. I like those Spanish. Those are big Spanish, too. Another popular way to catch Spanish is trolling spoons and plugs. Especially early in the season, they seem to come before the king, kings do, on their migration up. Um, and we'll troll spoons, you know, dead bait. Just troll a little faster. But as you can see, we're catching them on live bait too. Trolling isn't just a kingfish thing by no means. It's, uh, you know, you can catch any fish trolling, you know, slow trolling with live bait, wahoo, might. Spanish, king, sailfish, whatever, snapper, as you can see, we're catching, doing this trolling set, we're catching red snapper. Good. <laughs> oh, you got all. Had a strike, guys. Sometimes if you get a strike and they get off, you can just start feeding on. There we go. Feed them back. I haven't killed. No, I haven't yet. Um, snapper, possibly shark. All right, guys, we got another fish on. I'm just telling you about the drop back technique. He hit. Kayla saw it. My dad just started feed line back and the fish came back and ate. Uh, yeah, it looks like a red. Yep. Uh, red snapper. I'm a snapper guy today, guys. I catch him red snapper. We found the blade for all the. What's that? Might be one getting ready to hit that back line. It's a very healthy snapper population. Did you? Yeah. Going back. It's kind. <laughs> I wanted to do worse. Trying to slip my wrist. What do you hit? Uh. Look at him. Look. What is that? There we go. I don't know, it seems like all the fish are biting, uh, or fighting really That's easy today. Yeah. A little head shaking. You alright? Yeah, okay. Coming up. up. Yep. There we go. Right now, this is when you come up out there. Yeah. There we go, guys. Right on the very tip of the lip. First king of the day. Wow. 
check one more. Hang on. Some weird body just got. I feel like that one's really been fighting hard. I'm getting that butter on me. What do you think it is? Oh, I got, what do you got? Orange tart. Tart? Tart. tart. Shark, shark attack, guys. My first shark of the day, though. Hopefully, hopefully, I'll last. Fish on. Hi, guys. Broke out the snacks. Fish start biting. Got it? Go ahead. See that line's kind of twisty? Yeah, might be spinning. We might need to pull it up anyways. Got a leader. Let's see. Um, it's a king. It's a king. Yeah. Nice. Good gas shot. Got it. It's a good running fish. Whoa, Whoa. Scott and Kingfish. Another one. Just hit. Yeah. There we go. Double. Okay. Man. Yours is over. Go under under Kayla and then uh, over mine. Alright, go ahead. I think. Yeah. No. Uh, Again? Maybe. I'm below everybody. Yeah. Other way, uh, yeah. Y'all see that jump? Yeah, it was all the way in the air. Yep. Your, yours ran like crazy. Oh my! Oh, it just went off. No, he did real. He did real fast. Hurry, right, mine's coming up. Right, go, go, go. Get out of the way. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I can get him. Watch it. Oh. You want me to gaff it? You want to gaff it? Come on. Go ahead, Kayla, gaff it. Give him the camera. He's a. Uh, I think a little side hooked. Okay, you ready? Coming up, Kayla. Coming up with you. Trying. And go to the other side. There you go. Work it. <laughs> Let me see that. Y'all don't understand the fine art of this. <laughs> Good job. Nice and smooth. And no blood. No blood. Y'all just no don't mess. know how to do it right. <laughs> that fish was tough because he's hooked in the side. So they have more power. There we go, guys. An awkwardly hooked kingfish shot. <laughs> right in the skin. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Fish on. You see him hit the... I saw his like make a wake across going for that prop wash. Dang. If you're, if you see your wire, and it's kind of, you know, it's uh, what happens when a kingfish hits it from the front and their teeth hit the wire and it goes down. It's the same thing if you took, you know, like scissors and a ribbon and go like that. Makes a curl. A Tells you the fish are hitting it from the front. There's uh, definitely some active fish. Like it's not been a steady bite, but the fish are here. We found uh, this afternoon if we start throwing live bait out, get them excited. We'd actually done it not long before this one hit. And we had a lot of fish at our prop wash bait, so don't be afraid of having a bait close to your boat. And that one actually, I saw it. And I could see the swirl, I could see the fish barely under the surface. I just saw the line kind of follow it. 
But uh, they didn't get hooked up. Kind of looked like it long, fast. I mean, it could have been a big Spanish. But, um, you know, real active, real active uh, area. Just steady. You just got to be patient. You know, keep fishing, throwing that live bait. That's why I like to have plenty of bait so I can throw it all out, track fish, stuff like that. All right, guys, we're back at the dock. Yeah, it's a pretty crowded day. Labor yeah. Day, so. Labor Day, not as bad. Yeah. It's maybe Memorial Day. Could have been worse. Cool day, nice and calm, nice fall. Mm -hmm. Kicking off fall, be uh, pretty fun. It's pretty neat though. I mean, we had a good kingfish run. Um, it wasn't a hot bite, but it was steady. And uh, it's kind of nice. I mean, it's pretty late in the year for them that they're still doing pretty decent. Yeah, how many did we get on? Like, maybe six? Is yeah, more? we caught three. Pretty sure yeah. we had at least two to three more on. And mm -hmm. Of course, two Spanish. You're a snapper. <laughs> yeah, I kept getting snapper. So, yeah. um, all in all, it was a great day. Had a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Got to try out some new rigs, uh, different stuff. You know, always learning. Just have fun. Kind of cool day on the water. Yeah. Well, thanks you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you next time. On Real Hazardous.